it's a pavilion. It uh, it fulfills uh, many different functions. You know, it has a roof, so there's protection from the rain. It's actually interesting that here there is an oculus, so partially the rain will enter, but there is still a lot of protected space. It's interesting that when you come up to it, it seems quite imposing because it's this large black monolith which stands out from the rest of the park. But then when you go inside, it's very reflective and calming because the, the sort of black just makes you kind of get into your own little world and it makes, means you can reflect and think by yourself. He, he dedicates this pavilion you know, to the memory of, uh, of his father and he wants there to be many memories also of sound and of course sound is an archive and so there will be lots of voices filling the space uh, over the summer and we also have a bell actually in front of the pavilion. I think the other elements such as the bell do add something because you know you think of that as a church as the call and I believe during events it will be rung to kind of summon people in so it has that feel of a church. As for the paintings inside that's a form personal link to the artist's own life which may be a little less inaccessible to those who don't know about the artist's practice but it's great to see the artist put his own stamp on the pavilion. Thank you. 